According to the state's health website, 48% of eligible people are fully vaccinated in Texas. In the Valley, we're far above the state average. In fact, our area has the highest vaccination rate in Texas, but local doctors say we're not in the clear just yet. Channel 5's Crystal Martinez reports. When the pandemic hit, area hospitals were overrun with COVID-19 patients. But now, thanks to available vaccines and education, that number has significantly decreased. Why is it that area that was so impacted, we had the highest mortality rate. At this time a year ago, instead of having 70 people in the hospital like we do today, we had 1,200. Hidalgo County Health Authority, Dr. Ivan Melendez says one reason for that change, the Valley's vaccination rate is around 60%. We've been able to collaborate between the public institutions, such as the schools, the uh, governmental institutions, such as uh, the health department and the private. But Melendez almost admits the numbers may be smaller, but the virus hasn't gone away. And he doesn't want people to get complacent because there are still things we just don't know. The virus is still in the community. And then, and then the next question, why is it still in the community? This understanding about who gets infected and how people pass that along, uh, how you may or may not act, uh, you know, that, that's all misinformation that tends to give people a false sense of security. Dr. Robert Martinez of DHR Health also reminding people the virus is still here, even if you personally have yet to get it. It doesn't stop you from ever getting it at all. It just doesn't make you clinically ill. And despite the Valley's high rate of vaccination, there are still around 15 to 20 percent of people that haven't gotten it yet or simply refuse to. And new variants of the virus are still emerging, the effects of which remain to be seen. We know right now that the variant, the Delta virus, which is originally from India, we know that the virus that left Wuhan, China in 2019 is not the virus that we're battling now. It's a genetic transformation. And for children under 12 who are unable to get the shot, doctors say they see a new vaccine for them coming in the near future. Crystal Martinez, Channel 5 News at 10.